Continuous Delivery Design and Technology. In this clip, we're just going to have a look at some of the basic tools for Techsoft V3. So we have the drawing area here with a grid. The grid can be controlled here, so we can change the grid on and off and have a grid spacing. We leave the grid spacing on. We've got a right-hand toolbar here, which has zoom in functions and undo. We can undo quite a few steps. And we got on this side here, we have the main drawing tools and the lettering tools. So there's, there's the basic tools. Um, we can use the select tool here, nothing to select. And what we can also do is use this grid lock tool here. So this is quite important. So um, if we take a shape and draw a shape and just look at the grid lock tool, with the grid lock tool pressed in, we can see that the, the shape that we draw will fit or what we call snap to grid. So we've drawn that shape there. If we try and do that same shape again and we use knock the grid lock tool off, we will see that it doesn't snap to grid and it's very hard to draw a regular shape. Whereas th with these dots, the spacing or the grid at 10 millimeter spacing, it makes it quite useful to um, it makes it quite useful to be able to snap to the grid. So if we're trying to draw, um, if we go back to snap to grid there, and we can see that, for example, if I want to put this in for the roof of a, a lamp, we can put that in. And if we want to use this shape tool again for the bottom part of the lamp, we can, it will snap to grid and follow that size exactly. If we want to delete lines, we can use the delete tool here and delete that line, or we can use using undo there. If we press on this tool and keep the finger, so I've, I've pressed the left hand mouse button and it gives us some options. One of these is delete part of an object between the two intersections. And that will just allow us to delete part of a line rather than the whole line. We can also use this other delete option, which is delete objects by box, where we create a box around an object and delete the whole object. So there's some of the delete options. Um, with, with the drawing options for circles, we have these other, so most of these other tools, we can click on them with the a left click of the mouse and it gives us a whole, so if you look at the lettering option there, we can use lettering in a box or lettering around a line. Um, as I say, with the delete option there, we have those. So there's some other um, tools that we can use. Um, for the lettering tool, if we click on the lettering tool, click, and it will open a box, and we can type in the lettering. And then we can go to settings, and rather than using font sizes, we can actually adjust the size of the lettering. So if I maybe put that down to uh, eight millimeters, the actual height of the M, and then we can add the lettering there. So there's just some um, basic tools, the real basic tools rundown for Techsoft V3. Thanks for watching.